G'day tubers, so I thought I'd give you a quick update, haven't done a proper update for a little while, what I'm up to, where I'm at, a bit more soldering, get in, it's killing me, but I'm building a dodgy pack, video to come, should be pretty cool, should learn something, um, hopefully we don't have to burn anything down, stay tuned. Over here, I bought myself a little raspberry pie, it seems like everybody's doing a raspberry pie at the moment. So I brought me a little kit so I can learn something with that. Hopefully I can make it work without getting too stressed with it. Um, I've never done anything like that before. I think it's something similar to um, Arduino and stuff like that. So a bit of a learning curve. Have it sitting there. It's a wireless and Bluetooth and whatever else. My Raspberry Pi 3. I don't actually know what that means. Got a charger and stuff. And apparently you can put that with Ethernet over power. So that would be an interesting way of doing it. Um, and I've also attached the heat sink into there as well to make it run a bit cooler. Still processing cells, got almost another pack there made. Um, I've made a huge discharger charger thingy for my um, for my IMAX unit so I can charge heaps at a time. I think someone called it a bump charger. So things are still happening. I've created a corner for the rest of my mess in my workshop. And this is Bose pack, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and I dropped a cell. Uh, so that's 14, so that's actually not needed. Um, so I've almost finished my 14th pack. Now I've also got all these cells here too, these are all tested as well, um, and they're all blue. And these two packs here are completely made out of blue cells. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to leave them all blue. I think I'm going to regret putting that many blues into one pack because that would represent my 60 kilowatt hour pack um, with blue cells. So that'd be kind of a cool thing. Let's go down to the power shed and see what's happening down there. So we're back down here at the power wall sheds and I've got myself a new t-shirt, 18650s. It's a premium tee. It's not, not the other one. And geez, it's comfortable. It's so nice. It's, it's even better again than the other one and the other one's awesome. So what have we got down here? No, things changed in here. Everything's working. And in fact, this is the first time in probably two or three weeks I've even opened this shed because there's just no need anymore. This shed is a different matter. Um, I've been having lots of problems and having to run a fan. Um, this inverter, I don't know whether it's playing up or it's just because I've got the solar running through it, but it's getting all mighty hot. Um, so I, I've really got to keep an eye on that lately with the heat. Um, that or put that back in into service again um, lots of cables going everywhere but all those cable mess will be cleaned up shortly and we'll we'll show you what's happening got the bridge connect set up up there so I'm gonna do some more things with that eventually as I learn some more stuff and it's all learning it all takes time so yeah as you can see not too much has changed not too much has happened everything else is still working brilliantly got the other 10 kilowatt panels there of cells and I was thinking about putting the other 10 kilowatts down along the back there somehow I'll have to work that out anyway tubers thanks very much for tuning in I'll see you on the next one cheers